Devontae Tank Davis responded to you. He said that he don't like none of y'all that call him out. He wish he could see you in the room without boxing gloves and shut him down. He, listen, 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 listen. Tank Davis. First of all, first of all, get this on camera. I'm on live right Show now. It. 500 people watching. Keep it business because I'm a monster in as well as outside of this ring. You do not want to make it personal. Believe me, your time is coming. When you see me move up to 130, just know your time is running thin. Your time is running real short, shorty. Don't ever play with me. Don't ever insult me and my, my, my integrity as an individual, as a man. Don't do that. Ever in a million years, y'all. Do, do, do you think that uh, that eventually he'll, he'll give you that fight? That's a fight that we, we could possibly see? It's possible. Like I said, we gonna, I'm at 126. I got to move up to 130. He ain't coming down to 126 to fight. So in the meantime, between time, I want Leo Santa Cruz. God willing, we're going to get through this guy. I want Leo Santa Cruz. I'm going to burn him up. We're going to move up and wait. Once again, when you see me move up and I relinquish my title and go at Bird Chat, your time is running short. Stop playing with me, shorty. You're a youngin'. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane because when I move up there, you're going to get ran over anyway. Woo! I have a question. So, he, um, Walter said if he dies, he dies, right? And I just want to ask you, do you feel like it's right to kill somebody if you have the legal right to? Of course. We're in a brutal, we're in a very brutal sport. This is a sport that we we participate in. The, the ultimate way to win is to knock a person completely unconscious. If that's the case, it takes a particular type of individual to even participate in this sport. Mm -hmm. Like I say, mm -hmm. like he said, if they die in there, they die in there. What we do is, I'm a fighter. Being a fighter, boxing is what I do. It's not who I am as an individual. But it takes a certain type of individual to participate in this sport, period. You know, that comes with the territory. Uh, it's definitely messy. I mean, that's what the referee's for. The referee need to protect them. I'm not. Got you. Thank you. Gary, we all know that Kiko is the guy that you originally wanted. Was it tough for you to get motivated for this fight? It's never tough for me to get motivated. I do this for my family. When you do it for the people that you love and care about, it's never tough to get motivated for something like that. This is what this is what our livelihood is based upon. Once again, we get paid based upon our ability to be able to produce. These guys are, are, aren't willing to produce when it comes to me. And I'm really in my feelings that Shorty even tried to play me like that. Shorty, stop playing with me, man. You kind of answered this, but I was going to ask if this could be your last fight in 126, but you, you're going to gun for Leo Santa Cruz. Oh, I definitely want Leo. The only reason why I'm at 126 is because I wanted to fight a Leo Santa Cruz. I won a unification match. You know, um, I've been, I'm, as of now, I'm the current longest reigning champion, hands down. You know, um, why is it that I haven't got a unification match? I've been held my title for the last four years. Why is it that none of the other champions is willing to put their title up against, against me? You know, they, they they made Leo Santa Cruz the mandatory challenger a few months ago, the WBC did. He opted to take a tune-up fight. But it was, it's a little strange if you want to tune up for Mr. Gary Russell Jr., why is it that you just fought an orthodox fight? You're supposed to fight a southpaw fighter to get ready for me. I'm southpaw. I mean, so it, it's a lot of little stuff that comes with it. Hopefully the fans, you know, the managers, the promoters, and everything motivate these guys to get in the ring with me. Now you just called out Leo, eh? I beat him very good in the amateurs. It's the difference between fights and, and, and this, uh, I consider a fight is when both parties have equal chance at winning. It's not an equal chance at winning when it comes to Yeah, do you think the names you've been calling out recently, they'll step up to the plate? Hope so. Hope so. I ain't, I ain't talking just for, to, to uh, waste it. I'm talking for a particular reason. The people that I'm mentioning in my, in my interviews are all the people that I want to fight. These are the people that, in the sport of boxing, that's in or around my, my weight division, that's supposed to be doing something. I'm the baddest thing out here smoking. You is. Come see me. You is. It's simple. Hey, Chen, what are you hearing behind the scenes? Uh, are you any closer to getting the guy, I mean, the Leo Santa Cruz fight? Should you I mean, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, I've known not behind us. Now you say what I'm hearing behind the scenes on, on 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 the front street of everything. I know that the WBC made Leo Santa Cruz the mandatory challenger to compete against me a couple months back. You know, so I mean, I don't know. Politics plays a big part of everything, and sometimes fear plays a big factor of it. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's, it's if it's Leo Santa Cruz that don't want to take the fight, or if it's his team that don't want to take the fight, or etc. That's the fight that I want. It's simple. How did this whole you and Tank thing even start? Was it a social media thing? 
It ain't no social media, it ain't none of that. I just told you, I want to fight any of the guys that's supposed to be doing something in my particular division or, or around my division. It's Leo Santa Cruz, Javante Tank Davis, them are the only guys that's in my division or around my division that, that has the ability to make the fights happen because we're on the same side of the fence. A lot of these other guys, they are, they were top rank and all that, and everybody knows the, the politics that come into it. So, nah, it ain't got nothing to do with that, but Shorty, don't make it personal. Once again, stop playing with me. Based on you being from... Javante Tank Davis, who will be third in line, you know, that you would step up and take if the fight present itself? Well, to be honest with you, to be to be a hundred percent honest with you, I I will have to fight for a check first. Yeah. I will have to fight for a check first because in order for me to be able to compete against a Javante Tank Davis, I have to work my way up the rankings in the, whatever particular sanctioning body that he has his title on. But because I'm the WBC champion, I can immediately relinquish my title and challenge the champion at the next weight division. So that would be Burchett. Now, once I get my title from Burchett, then, like I said, I'm on your ass. Tank, I'm on you. Stop playing with me, Shaw. Where, based on where you're from, the DMV, and where it takes from, where would be a good venue for that fight? D.C. D.C.? D.C. Yeah. We'll, we'll, do it at the, we'll do it at the Redskins Stadium. Watch the Redskins Stadium. They hold, I don't know how many seats. But, I mean, it's more than enough room for everybody, for the DMV to come and come through and, 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 watch, it, and watch me. Make sure he look like a, like the younger that he is. Intellect over athleticism. After about four rounds, he'll be lost. He's nothing but a good athlete, a strong athlete. People win fights off of just pure athleticism because they're faster, they're stronger, they hit harder, not because they're technically better. I do whatever I want with him. What did you think of Bear Chelt's last fight with Vargas? The I didn't even watch it. You didn't get to see it? I honestly don't watch boxing very often. Um, I didn't see his fight. I seen a clipping or something, I think, on Instagram or something like that. You know, but that was about it. I pay attention to him when I plan on moving up in weight. Like I said, when you see me get my strap up and move up to 130, Tank, your time running short, Sean. Hey, Gary, how have you been able to control that dynamic that you have? You know, coming in once a year and seeing like you don't have no green rust, but still stay going in the there, round after round, upping your punch output. Because, you know, I'm not one of these guys that when they get off of a fight, they blow up to 160 or 130, or I mean 145 or whatever it is. I don't blow up in weight. My weight don't fluctuate. I stay in the gym. Boxing is, I love what I do. I love my, I love my, 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 my career. I love my, my profession. I'm always in the gym. Even when I'm done fighting, I still be in the gym training. I still be working out. You know, I think it's something that that's so intimate that no one else benefits from but yourself. Just putting the time and the energy and effort into yourself. A lot of people, they take off for that. After their fight, they take off. They take off putting that time and energy into themselves. I don't take that they off. They fall off. Yeah, they fall yeah. off. I don't do that. Boxing is a self sport but it's a, that's it's a right. positive self sport That's right. You got to be uh, tapping to your narcissistic spirit and energy a little bit just to be able to do this you have. and maintain it. You know what I mean? That's right. Yeah, for real. Hey, Gary. Um, obviously, styles make fights. Is there a tougher fight between Tank and Leo if you had to choose your opponent? Say or it again? In between um, Tank Davis and Leo Santa Cruz, is one tougher than the other? Or is just styles make fights? Because the styles make fights? No, nah, one isn't tougher than the other. The toughest, the toughest competition that there will be is me preparing myself to the best of my ability. Once again, I never focus on my opponents that much. You know, uh, with Tank, he, he intellect would kill him all day in the paint. He just want to go out there and throw hard punches. Intellect over athleticism all day. With Leo Santa Cruz, like I said, he's a rock and sock and robot. He just tucks his head and just throw punches. He'll go to sleep. Gary, I always was curious about this. You obviously come from a fighting family. Who was the first in your family to fight? I have an older brother that competed, uh, Gary Jones. Okay. And he was a boxer. He actually fought. Uh, Fernando Vargas and all those guys back when uh, he, he he was actually uh, he went to the furthest he went was to the, like the Olympic trials and etc. Um, he was the first to fight actually my uncle Bob Bob Foster people who don't know that Bob Foster was the uncle of mine really so people don't even know that wow. <laughs> my father was a fighter mm -hmm. you know he got he was he was actually getting ready to compete for a world title in the heavyweight division then he got to a hunting accident. You know, and that 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 was the end of that. 
But he lived through us. We lived through him. So you were the first Olympian slash world champion in your family? Of course, but we got many to come. You know, I have another Olympian, Gary Antoine Russell, who just came from the 2016 Olympics. We also have Gary Antonio Russell, who's about to uh, try to make his run for a world title very, very soon. And they all the truth. Oh, yeah. They all the truth. All fast, oh, yeah. too. Bro. Oh, yeah. Whole band man, of genetics, just, genetics is a bad thing, man. I was genetics just going to ask you, where that speed come from? Yeah. Man, I, I told you, we was born to do this, man. We was born to it. You know, um, genetics is serious, man. Ethnicity, man. My ethnicity, I pull my energy from my ethnicity. Melanin is a bad boy. <laughs> Melanin is a bad boy. For the people who don't know, you better start thinking. And get in those books and look that word up in the dictionary or something. How was that sparring between you and your brothers? Growing up and all of that, was it always intense? It's fun. Iron shop is iron. We really don't spar a lot. It's funny, though. My father, my father, he, he real good at this. He... My younger brothers, they young lions. Yeah. They young lions and they coming hard and they yeah. coming strong. Yeah. You know, so my father, he do a little slick stuff. He'll make me do a whole entire workout. You know, and as soon as I'm finished my workout, and I'm thinking I'm about to take my gloves off and finish. He said, oh, no, 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 no. Tony on Antoine, glove up, y'all about to spot. And then he'll stick them both on me on the back end of the train. <laughs> you know, so, you know, and they come full throttle too, you right. know, so. Iron shop is iron, man. We learn from each other. I pull out, we pull out energy yeah, from yeah. each other. You know, so it's great, man. We, 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 we moving as a force. We move as a unit. And the sky's the limit. Hey, hey Chan, let me ask you. I, I know that you woke. I know that you in touch. Do you go back to the motherland? I'm looking forward to it. I'm planning on it. I'm definitely planning on That's a trip that we're going to. I was actually a little... Jealous of my little brother. Where you go? Where you? He went to Morocco, Morocco, and I was in my feelings because I wanted to go so bad, hey, that's so what, bad. That's the birth of everything. But it's cool, that's you know. For a lot of people that don't know, even the United States, we're still living under Moroccan embassy, the Moroccan Empire, and all that stuff. The people who really don't know. So, can you do me this? For those who are not familiar with your brothers, could you introduce them by name or let them introduce themselves? Uh, well, Ari, well, once again, to people who don't know, I'm the oldest of six boys. Uh -huh. All of us are named Gary. So don't try, and, and, it, and, it's, and it's a thing though. Yeah, yeah. This is the thing. A lot of people don't know. They try to call, they try to play with us and say Gary to see if we all together to see who we respond. Who respond. Right? Yeah, yeah. But we got right. a trick to that. Where? Everybody else go by their middle name except for me and my father. Okay, then. You know, so this would be Gary Antonio. Yeah. He goes by Antonio. He's gone. Gary Allen, who goes by Allen. He's gone. Gary Antoine. Goes by hands swan. You know, we got a couple more back at home, you know, Gary Derry, Gary Isaiah, you know, so it's 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 a mean thing. It's mean, man. We moving as a force, we moving as a unit, man. Like I say, the sky's the limit. Quick trivia question. Right? Who got the faster hand? Don't ask me that divisionary <laughs> question. Right, like right, that. right, right. Come on. I, I, I expect I expect that from somebody else from a different ethnicity. But don't 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 ask me a divisionary question like that. G how you do with the duality of being a father and a world champion? How, 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 how does that happen? Oh, man. That, that got to be rough, man. Cause no, like, no, Like, like no, I said, not. boxers and narcissists. My, ba my, baby, my babies understand that the DNA and the pedigree of which they come from. So they understand that because their daddy's a champion, that means that their uncles were champions. Even if they don't have a strap, internally they champions. My babies know that they're champions. My babies look at themselves as champions. My daughters, and as well as my son. That's just what it is. That DNA is something that's gonna that's gonna live through every one of them. You know, so it's it's it's, it's me. We don't watch television very much because it's not very much substance that comes on TV. You know, we tend to sit home and talk and, and, and chill with one another versus look at TV, reality shows, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, we focus. We all we we we, we grow in turn. So, okay, your fathers as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Are, are, you, are you guys vegan? Nah, we're not vegan. You know, uh, we 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 dip and dab here and there. We dip and dab here and there. I, sometimes I might just go and eat nothing but vegan food for about a week or so, or etc. You know, but we back and forth. Our, our diet is real good. You know, we eat good. We eat healthy. We strong. You got three brothers. 
Veggie Castle here. Y'all tried it out yet? Nah, we haven't tried it yet. Right here. We then. haven't tried it yet. But I know what I am going to eat. I got a good friend. You know, we're going to definitely get some good oxtail, <laughs> you know, and all that. So it's definitely going down. When is, do you want your son to become a boxer? And as far as the brothers, I actually got two sons. I got okay. two sons for okay. the people that don't know. You know, and his name is Gary. Both of their names is Gary as well, but they go by their middle names. My, one of my sons' name is Haru, and my youngest son, I just had a set of twins for the people who don't know, a boy and a girl, you know, and I named them Layla and Ali. So my youngest son, his name, his name is Ali, even though his name is Gary. He would go by Ali, and my other son goes by Haru. And when did the three brothers know that they were going to be boxing? <laughs> Say it one more time. When did all three of you guys know that you were going to be boxing? I mean, from from the we would uh, you gotta understand, man. We were naturally aggressive children anyway. This sport was something that was perfect. It was tailor made for me and my family. We were naturally aggressive. We needed something to to channel and target all of this energy that we possessed, you know. And it was perfect. It, it worked out perfect. Do you, you were have an the, option of putting your just curious? I'm, do you have the option of putting your face Oh, don't in? worry, I'm out of swapping out. I'm okay. out of swapping out. Just to let you know, it's going to get swapped out. Oh, okay. <laughs> you were at the Julian J. Rock Williams herd fight. Oh, what did yeah. you make of that main event? Like I say, intellect over athleticism. I like Jerry yeah. Hurd. You know what I'm saying? Jerry Hurd, he's a good, good friend of mine. He's from the city. I know him personally. We got good camaraderie with one another. Um, he's real cool. He's real cool, but Jared is, is a... Uh, he's a big strong good athlete you know and he's been winning fights off of athleticism not more so off the, just the technical side of it you know intellect intellect is definitely something in most cases it's not the biggest it's not the strongest it's not the fastest it's the smartest person it's who can think their way out of the situation or into the situation you know and i think that's what one uh, j-rock that fight i take my hat off to him he did a hell of a job